We have to move to the next story. The Department of Social Development, in partnership with the USAID Pact, have launched what they call CHOMI. That is a social and behavioral change program for children between the ages of 10 and 14. This happened today. They're observing this under the slogan, Invest in my future, protect me today. Chomi aims to generate knowledge, develop skills, and also to empower young people to make more informed choice choices to reduce HIV infections, substance abuse, and also to prevent teenage pregnancies. Chomi is a colloquial term for a friend. The Deputy Minister of the Department of Social Development, Henrietta Bokopanizolo, is here with me in studio. Good afternoon to you, DM. Thank you so much for coming through. Good afternoon, Palisa, and thank you for having us. All right, so we cannot... Uh, uh, turn a blind eye, a blind eye on, on coronavirus. The Department of Social Development, any plans really to assist? Because we had a conversation with a doctor here who was basically saying that the most important precautionary measure is to wash your hands regularly. Well, um, there is a program the kids do. It's a program washing your hands. It's nothing new in South Africa. Um, I think if that is all that you need to do, wash your hands regularly, um, that I think we we find um, it's from where we are sitting, and we also, as the department, are part of the the team to provide the necessary support for the families whose uh, members are in the affected areas. It is us that that needs that our social workers that are actually providing the support to the families to, you know, you need to be calmed down, mm -hmm. you need to get constant, and for those that want to come home, how do we uh, assist at the end of the day with the center of the coordination of, of everything? All right, so how do we get Chomi here? What is this Chomi and what does it do? Well, uh, at least you did the intro. Chomi, Re Moloncha, we welcome in the kids today. Uh, we're going to launch Chomi officially, Kaosani. Uh, tomorrow, tonight, the kids are going to be the madams on the gala dinner so that they also get to have their best dress. But what we are trying to achieve is, Eriki um, Bay, like this palace, to say, we want to rebuild the village. Um, we've, we've had YOLO, You Only Live Once program, mm -hmm. that was catering for 10 to 24 year olds. And as we implement this program, we realize, Gormar, when you have a 19-year-old and a 10-year-old in the room, they're actually not having the same conversation. Mm. So it's not really uh, assisting because we evaluate our programs. So we split the program into half. Um, and we want, so the program uh, for 15 and to 24 will go on as YOLO. Mm. And then we are introducing Chomi. Chomi, basically, the first thing, uh, it's obviously it's a USAID PEPFAR-funded program and uh, that is in partnership with us. And what we are trying to achieve, the three basic things that I want everybody to remember about Chomi, besides the intro that it's a behavioral change program, we, are, we want to reclaim our streets back. So Chomi, it's for 10 to 14 year old, is attached to indigenous games. Uh, we're saying hashtag protect me, you know, protect me now, because we've seen how children have been under siege uh, in school everywhere. So each hashtag is linked to an indigenous game. Mm. And we want to rebuild the village that we have lost so that our children are not, you know, are hidden in high walls. We want to get the kids out there but, uh, to play diketo. Uh, with an understanding, Yahori, uh, diketo, say, you know, you and me were playing them. Yes. Uh, but today we have named every stone the different values. So th when the child plays, the child can say, I want to be, you know, hashtag I am beautiful. And the other aspect, we anchored it on our, the rock program, where we've mobilized uh, our traditional leaders as rock, you know, now I serve at the pleasure of the president tomorrow, President, thank you, Deputy Minister. But for this uh, traditional leadership as an institution, they are the rock leaders. So what we are doing as a department is to also begin to hold the different leaders accountable. So in this one, because it's for 10 to 14 year olds, we, we, we are holding traditional leaders in the rock program accountable for every citizen where they govern. Yeah. Now we're doing the mothers. So this program will be led by the spouses of the traditional leaders, where we're reminding them that for every child in that village that gets 
abuse that gets, you remain responsible for the mothers. And that is how we are anchoring Chomi. We're rebuilding the village, reclaiming our streets, getting our children to play, and then they can get off the phones and be active and really play our indigenous games. Mm -hmm. But then how, how effective are these programs? You've touched on YOLO that, that's aimed at the uh, 15 to the 24 year olds. But then how effective are they? Because I remember very well that for example, YOLO was looking into uh, the reduction of HIV infections, but HIV infections amongst the youth remain relatively high in the country. So are they really serving the purpose? Yes, they are. Um, Firstly, let me agree with you that, especially from the girl-child uh, perspective, the statistics on HIV remains high. And, but that does not, does not mean the program is not working. Because if you take the girls and the boys, you put them together of the same age group, um, which is the same age group, let's say 15 to 24. The girls are, uh, the infections are at, uh, literally 39% while for the boys are at 3%. So you, you literally can see that we need to now get a, 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 another program that, sh that, that would assist us to close the gap mm -hmm. because it is not the same uh, group age that are infecting each other. And also, we, as a department, we're we implementing these programs, but we call in for partners to upscale them so that we are able to reach every young person. Um, YOLO, we're doing quite well because we've now entered all the um, higher institutions of higher education. We have uh, internalized it in, as part of the orientation um, and we're also providing the support. So at, when the students come for their first year students, they come to university, they also go through a week of orientation on YOLO so that they know, you know, the harmful effects of drugs, they know, but also they have the information of where, who and where can I go to when I feel, because there's a lot of, a lot of stress in this country mm -hmm. and young people commit suicide, you know, I come from a poor family, it's the first time I'm in the lights of Johannesburg, I don't, you know, NEFSAS didn't pay my sanitary, all of that, yeah. we are now beginning to build it and this year we've implemented full scale in all the universities for all the first years. But it's grown and we are beginning to feel the effects of it as, as, as a department. And now, hence, we were able to say, okay, this element doesn't work together, let's separate it, and, and hence Chomi was born. Mm -hmm. All right, so you want the children to reclaim the streets and one could say that the reason why we don't let our children go play in the streets, we fear for their safety. Exactly. That issue, how are you going to look into it? Because I wouldn't let my child play where I know, uh, you know his safety will not be prioritized. And that is exactly what we are trying to break, is that South Africans live in fear. On this side, it is not even your home is safe anymore, uh, Balesa, even for your kid, even for yourself. Uh, because femicide is very high. So there really isn't a safe space um, for anyone, whether it be it a child, be it not even your bedroom, it's not safe everywhere. But we're now trying to say, we need to do something to reverse this particular aspect. And we are looking at Chomi because we're saying, when the village existed and the term that it takes a village to raise a child, you did not have to worry about your child that much because you knew the neighbor had your child's back. But as we became nuclear families and as we became individualistic, so did all the other social programs, uh, problems come with that particular aspect. Uh, the, if, you know, in the past, if the mother drinks too much, the gogo was there because it's part of the family. So that back up and the support system is what we are trying to rebuild. Okay. And because we really need our villages back, we need our streets back, and we need to do something about it. You're reclaiming the villages, but the launch was healthy and halting. How are you going to penetrate your Tabanchu in, in, in the Free State, your Matatiel in the Eastern Cape, or your Mutu in, 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 in Guazulu Natal? That is part of the reason why the program is anchored and led by the spouses of traditional leaders. Once we launch it here, 
Here it's more about the costs, but it's also about bringing all the children. So it's more about geographic location. But when we do the provincial launches, it is going to be a mood. It is going to be a matatiele. It is going to be in the villages because it is anchored on the rural element. So hence the spouses of the traditional leaders in partnership with the National House of Traditional Leaders are leading this program because we want to say if we want to reclaim the village before we can come to reclaim uh, Soweto uh, uh, where we need to teach people what the village, mm -hmm. let us start at the village itself and let us make sure these indigenous games are also reclaimed by the children so All that right. my kid doesn't sit on the phone every yeah. day but they actually can go play diketo they can go play, play mraba raba, yeah. uh, mraba raba mm -hmm. snakes and ladders hopscotch mm -hmm. that's what we are doing tomorrow okay. and join us Beachwood. that's where it's happening hashtag protect me now. All right. Thank you so much for coming through. That's uh, the Deputy Minister for the Department of Social Development, Henrietta Bukhopane Zulu, talking to us about this new uh, initiative, really, uh, that's aimed at uh, uh, changing the behavior of our kids. It's called Chomi. We take a quick break. There's still so much more to come on your story. Do stay with us.